Hey, welcome back everybody. This is a bit of a different video, I know. Today we're not covering Helldivers 2. Again, don't worry, the channel's main focus is still Helldivers 2. But, since lore is a little quiet right now on the Helldivers 2 front, I thought I would create a video that is, albeit probably four or five days late to the punch, but on Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. Before we get into this, I have to say I did not play the first game, and I know pretty much nothing about Warhammer. I, I understand the premise. I've played the bolt gun game, which I thought was really fun. I know some lore tidbits here and there, but I am in no way a lore expert or or super knowledgeable for Warhammer. And so I understand that Helldivers and Helldivers 2 had a lot of inspiration come from Warhammer as well. But why don't we watch this trailer and see what looks great about it? I love the fact that developers here are talking about the game rather than just showing things. I think it's great when developers take the time to really spell out and put down in bullet points, even just through talking points, what the game is about and what we're going to see in the game. This game really gives me this kind of nostalgic feel that I had back for the Transformers War for Cybertron game. Obviously that's not the first third person shooter ever, it was basically kind of a Gears of War style of game. This, I know, is, is obviously not 100% that, but it gives me the same kind of feeling where they're showing off this campaign. You have three-player option for campaign, which is something that I love. I think any game with a campaign, you should be allowed to play it with friends, even if it you know, breaks the lore or whatever. Just let us do it. I, I think it's so much fun. But it just gives me that feeling of going into a campaign, into a story with two of your buddies, and just blowing everything up. And I am excited to, to kind of learn about this world and to see the story. It's not a huge priority on my bucket list when it comes to this game, but it does look cool, it looks gritty. Gameplay, I'm glad that they're showing gameplay. I feel like the first couple trailers and announcements for this game, they didn't show too much gameplay, and I started to get a little worried about it. They just kept showing off these awesome cinematics, which again look great, but it really kind of worried me that we weren't seeing any specific gameplay. Thanks to our unique swarm technology, Allowing this swarm technology here that they're talking about looks absolutely amazing. I believe this is the same team that made the World War Z game, which used a similar piece of technology. I am worried, as a console player on the PlayStation 5, that for some reason my console won't be able to handle this at 60 frames per second. But this looks amazing, just the amounts of enemies, just the, the sheer mass of them looks absolutely outstanding. Maybe it is super easy to be done on modern day consoles. I don't know, I'm not used to it, but it just looks absolutely amazing. This looks like this is kind of the world hub that you have to go to and select missions. This is also great. It's a lot of cool lore and world building. Again, for someone like me, who really doesn't know anything about Warhammer, this is going to be a really cool way to step into this world. Looks like there's a lot of different options on how you can fight your enemies, lots of different weapons. Flamethrower, of course you know I'm going to have to use that given my name. Lots of melee weapons. I really like this idea, this this look here of these NPCs running around. That'll be really interesting to see how those guys work. Again, I'm just really happy that the developer took the time to, to make this video, but also to talk over it and really kind of explain what is happening, what you're able to do. I really appreciate that and I wish that more developers would do that with their games. I mean, I think the trailers, gameplay trailers, things like that that we get is great. But there's always a lot of questioning of like, well, how does that work and how does this work? But you don't need to know all the answers right away. So operations is another thing I'm super excited about. Once again, it kind of takes me back to those Transformers War for Cybertron days. There was a game mode in there called Escalation, which is basically just wave mode. This doesn't seem like it's exactly wave mode. It seems like it's more mission based kind of. The customization looks amazing. I love that there's different classes. That means you get to try out different play styles. I am worried, of course, about customization and there being microtransactions. I understand it to a point, but this is a $70 game, and so if the game comes out right away and there's just loaded to the brim with transactions, then I'm going to be a little worried. If it's all cosmetic, then I think I'll be fine. I, I understand that that's just the way things are now. I wish it weren't, but... Eternal War, which is the versus mode, which is basically their multiplayer mode. This is something that I normally wouldn't be super excited about since I don't do a lot of PvP. But again, taking me back to that, that War for Cybertron game, I actually played the PvP on that so much. And this just gives me such a familiar vibe of just these kind of smaller arenas that you're fighting your enemies in. This just looks like a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to try this out. My normal group with Democracy probably will not follow me 
here into this mode. They are not PvPers uh, too, too much, mainly just the finals. But this does look really exciting. I love that it looks like there's a bunch of different kits. I don't actually know if you can select the different classes that you can in the operations mode for this. That'll be interesting. They might have said that, but I didn't, I didn't see specifically. But if that's the case, then that would be awesome. If not, it seems like you can create different loadouts. So yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for this game. I don't have too, too many worries. I feel like Saber Interactive will pull through on this. I'm a little worried about performance and whatnot and microtransactions, of course. But this just looks like such an awesome and fun time, especially for someone like me who doesn't know a whole lot about the Warhammer universe. This looks like an awesome way kind of for me to step in and just experience the world for the first time. September 9th cannot come quick enough. When the game comes out, I will definitely be doing some more content on it. This was just kind of a video I wanted to do telling off my, my first impressions. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to... Well, what do the, what do the space marines do? Do they, do they spread democracy? I guess, I guess some of them do. Well, then don't forget to spread democracy.